Hello. This here is a Powerbook 520C and this has been the basis of one of my projects recently for attempting to replace the internal SCSI hard drive with a compact flash card installed via a PCM CIA slot which you can just see here, it's an expansion module. Um, to demonstrate the original problem, I'm going to start up the Powerbook now. You can have a listen to how noisy the internal hard drive is. I'll just move the camera closer so you can hear the sound of the drive whirring away there. Now, uh, in addition to the noise, uh, another problem associated with older SCSI hard drives is they're becoming very difficult to find uh, on the second hand market, if not nearly impossible. So, I would quite like, if I could, to preserve uh, the one in this for the future or for use in another Powerbook which maybe doesn't have a working drive. Since I have, after much experimentation, uh, discovered that you can use a compact flash card, uh, there doesn't seem to be any need to keep the internal hard drive in. So this also demonstrates as well the speed at which the Powerbook starts up. This is running system 7.5, which is yeah a, a fairly typical system for a Powerbook of this age. I'll just place the camera over here. I'm going to be performing a little bit of live surgery tonight on this uh, this Powerbook. Just zoom in there. So eventually we should get to the desktop. Hopefully, uh, I'll show you the uh, compact flash card whilst we're waiting. It's a 512 megabyte Jessops card. Uh, it's not actually made by Jessops. They're just a, a sales company for digital camera gear. But uh, I'm not entirely sure who the manufacturers of these are. But these cards do work in these power books, certainly this one does. Anyway, this is a PCMA CIA compact flash card adapter. So I'll just slot the card in there, plug it into the power book, and they look, the echo will pop up. I've already backed up the contents of the hard drive into this, so uh, I'll go into the control panel and set this compact flash card as the startup disk. There we are. Close. Special Shut down. Now, it's the card getting spat out the side there. I'll now, I've already prepared this. Uh, can remove the keyboard. Just place it there so that I can just take the hard drive straight out of the machine. Hopefully. It's a little fiddly, this actually. What I'll do first is I'll just use this small screwdriver to praise hard drive cable out of the drive itself, hopefully, and then very gently, if I can, anyone who's done this will know just how fiddly the compartment is. So that's it, that's the internal Powerbook hard drive SCSI taken out now. This is a 160 megabyte drive. So that's it, no hard drive in the machine. I will pop the keyboard back into place. And 512 megabyte cards, so quite a bit bigger than the hard drive. Slot the card in. And boot. And now you'll witness the wonderful sound of silence. I'll just lift the camera up again. And here we are, booting off the compact flash card. Now I've already tried this before, and the surprising thing here is, in my opinion, I think the startup is marginally faster. Certainly it's not any slower than the uh, than with the internal hard drive, and it makes a heck of a lot less noise. Oh, well, it makes no noise. So there we are, at the desktop already. There's the icon for the compact flash card, still called Untitled, and there's various files and applications sitting in there. So, another successful conversion to compact flash for an older Powerbook uh, for the 500 series.
Bye-bye.